Did you know that New York, as you know it, is about to change dramatically? After the generation of super-thin skyscrapers in Central Park, the generation of super-massive towers is just around the corner. Currently, there are almost 30 projects planned for 2030, and for this video, I've selected the five most imposing on that list. So let's get started. In 2018, the famous investment bank JP Morgan Chase announced that it would demolish its headquarters at 270 Park Avenue, replacing it with a brand new building that would be twice as tall as the British architectural firm. Foster and partners were chosen to carry out the project with the aim of designing a 423-meter high building. Since then, work has progressed well, and the skyscraper structure can now be seen rising into the midtown skyline. By late September, construction had reached the fourth of the five tiers, and on Monday, November 20th, a topping out ceremony was held for the 1388-foot tower. Reports indicate that the beam marks the highest floor of the 60-story tower. The structure for the tower's roughly 135-foot crown still needs to be erected toward the very end of the year, but we'll have to wait a little longer to see the finished tower, since the J.P. Morgan Chase building has put forward a date of 2025 for the delivery of the skyscraper. According to the studio, the 60-story building will be New York City's largest all-electric tower with net-zero operational emissions and will be 100% powered by energy sourced from a hydroelectric plant in New York State. Once completed, this imposing skyscraper will have the capacity to accommodate 14,000 group employees. In order to obtain approval from the New York City Council to build its new headquarters, Jeep Morgan had to contribute to improving the neighborhood's quality of life by creating a new public square in front of its new tower for the hefty sum of $40 million. Demolition work on the old HQ began in 2019 and took over two years. Incidentally, the old building became the tallest skyscraper ever demolished, surpassing the previous record holder, the Singer Building demolished in 1968 after 60 years of flourishing, and that's a real shame because it was truly superb to build the tallest structure possible. The financial giant spent lavishly to buy out the air rights of owners of neighboring plots, which are indispensable in New York if you want to build high up. So although Midtown East zoning permits the construction of a 477-meter tower on this site, the height of the tower was nevertheless set lower as the building would have required deeper foundations which could have interfered with the subway tunnels and marshalling tracks of Grand Central Station, which lie just below. In any case, this tower is surely the most successful of those I'm going to show you today. The second tower is the Tower Fifth, a 474-meter high skyscraper proposed by New York real estate developer Harry Macklow, who also built another well-known midtown skyscraper, 432 Park Avenue. The architectural firm Gensler, famous for its Shanghai Tower, has been commissioned to design the project. If completed, Tower Fifth will be New York's second tallest building by roof height, just six meters behind the Commodore Tower, which we'll see next year. It will also be located in Midtown East, a few meters from the famous Fifth Avenue and directly opposite Patrick's Cathedral, which will be visible from the lobby. Plans for the skyscraper were first revealed in January 2019, and Harry Macklow has already purchased the site plan for the tower for the sum of $44 million. There are currently two low-rise buildings to be demolished, including the Venezuelan consulate. Demolition permits were filed in April 2020. Moreover, no completion date has been presented either, but according to the New York Times, the developer has already met with the Landmarks Preservation Commission and members of the City Council to speed up the construction process. But the project is likely to be confrontational due to its proximity to several important monuments and buildings such as St. Patrick's Cathedral and Rockefeller Center. However, if approved, the Tower Fifth will join this new generation of matchstick skyscrapers which have been flourishing just a stone's throw from Central Park since 2014. 
The base of the tower rests on a narrow pedestal which will rise almost 122 meters above the street, surpassing the spires of the neighboring cathedral by 20 meters. This impressive balance, which rests on its structural core, really does give us that striking sensation of fragility as with the Citigroup Center Tower. As for the upper part of the building, it will house large open spaces with long lines of windows, maximizing the entry of natural light and the appreciation of panoramic views. But the best feature of Tower 5th will undoubtedly be its cantilevered observation deck, called the Sky of the Americas, which will rise to 442 meters, making it not only the highest observation deck in the city, but also in the United States. It will also be the second highest in North America, just 5 meters from the CN Tower Skypod in Toronto, and the whole thing will even be outdoors, like its high-altitude restaurant. But what's even more impressive is its completely transparent glass platform, which is sure to delight thrill-seekers, a bit like the Skywalk Glass Bridge at the Grand Canyon or the Zhangjiajie Glass Suspension Bridge in China. The tower has some serious arguments to win its building permit, but its unstructured block design, its overly imposing appearance, and its facade, reminiscent of the highly criticized 432 Park Avenue, don't really work in its favor. Many New Yorkers already take a dim view of it, finding it sorely lacking in elegance to match the neighborhood's other super-tall skyscrapers, which are far more refined in their proportions. Its color also contrasts too much with the Art Deco style of the surrounding skyscrapers. What do you think? The next skyscraper on our list is the Commodore Project, officially named 175 Park Avenue, where it will be located in Midtown East between one Vanderbilt Grand Central Terminal and the famous Chrysler Building. Designed by Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, one of the world's most prestigious architectural firms, which has worked on such major skyscraper projects as the Burj Khalifa. The new tower will house offices, retail, and leisure space at its base, as well as 500 Hyatt Group hotel rooms on the upper floors. Plans for the building were approved by the New York City Historic Preservation Commission and by the New York City Council in December 2021. The new skyscraper will be built on the current site of the Hyatt Grand Central New York Hotel, which is scheduled to be demolished over an 18-month period. Construction of the new glass and steel colossus is scheduled to begin in 2026, with completion scheduled for 2030. Originally, the 85-story tower was to have been 501 meters high, but this has now been reduced to 480 meters. This is still high enough, however, to rank it as New York's tallest skyscraper if the height of the roof is taken into account. Otherwise, it's the One World Trade Center that retains the top spot with its huge 124-meter spire, bringing the building's architectural height to 541 meters when completed. 175 Park Avenue will dominate the Midtown East District with its imposing proportions, its immediate proximity to the Chrysler Building, surely one of the city's finest Art Deco skyscrapers, will considerably diminish the latter's presence and will irreversibly pollute the appreciation of this marvelous monument in the New York skyline. It's not that it's particularly unsightly. On the contrary, there are even some interesting Gothic elements in the building's architecture, but its proportions and location are perhaps inappropriate, matched too imposing and much too close to the Chrysler Building, a historic building that must be preserved for the sake of New York's landscape identity. Remarkable for its design and impressive dimensions, the Affirmation Tower is a 95-story skyscraper project unveiled in October 2021 to be established on 11th Avenue, right next to the new Hudson Yards Towers at 507 meters. This veritable giant would, if approved, become New York City's tallest skyscraper by roof height ahead of the Commodore Tower and Tower 5th, which we saw earlier. In addition to becoming the new centerpiece of the vast Hudson Yards complex, the Affirmation Tower will provide an interesting skyline moving obliquely towards the sky, giving the district an impactful and much more unified landscape identity. 
conceived by the firm of Ghanaian British architect David Ajay, whose work includes the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington. The new tower will feature a stunning design with five blocks of floors stacked in a cantilevered fashion, evolving from the smallest to the largest all the way to the top. A spectacular design reminiscent of the previous version of Two World Trade Center by Dark Ingalls, but this time literally upside down. On the utilitarian side, the tower is to house offices, shops, and hotels, as well as a skating rink and a panoramic observation deck at the top which is bound to offer a breathtaking view of the Hudson River and the surrounding New Jersey countryside. In addition to being a large-scale real estate project, the Affirmation Tower has a truly symbolic vocation as it aims to improve the inclusion of the African-American community, hence the name chosen to name the building Affirmation Tower. Although the tower is still in the conceptual stage, it has a good chance of seeing the light of day as David Ajay's team has the backing of major New York real estate investors such as Steve Wyckoff and Don Peebles, as well as local associations and New York City's African-American clergy to support the project and bring it to fruition. The latest skyscraper we're about to see is 15 Penn Plaza, a 61-story tower planned to sit not far from the Empire State Building in Midtown Manhattan, designed by the renowned architecture firm Foster & Partners. This new tower will be the tallest building in a vast redevelopment plan for the Penn District, which will radically transform the urban landscape of this part of Midtown, with a total of eight new skyscrapers to house mainly offices, but also hotels and shops. This new skyscraper is being developed by Bornetto Realty Trust, a real estate investment company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Standing 366 meters high, it will rise on the site of the Hotel Pennsylvania, one of the many properties owned by Bornetto Realty Trust, which has decided to close it to the public in 2020 in order to begin the demolition process. A demolition that has stirred debate and moved many New Yorkers, as the Hotel Pennsylvania is an immense residence with a rich history. Not only was it the world's largest hotel with some 2,200 rooms, but after opening in 1919, it quickly became a popular address for the New York Gotha, including many famous actors, musicians, and writers, as well as high-ranking members of the underworld and politicians. It's a building steeped in history and one that deserves a dedicated video. At the base of the skyscraper, we'll find a vast entrance hall, housing a number of shops and completely open to the outside world as well as a giant screen above the main entrance to promote the cultural events that will take place in the tower throughout the year. Other amenities include restaurants and bars at altitude, as well as a large auditorium with superb windows, offering captivating views of New York City. In terms of design, 15 Penn Plaza features a large glass facade that tapers slightly from the 43rd floor upwards with 27 cantilevered green terraces that give the tower the appearance of a giant chest of drawers. According to the renderings, there's even talk of a fascinating view of the Empire State Building. So close will it be finally. The building is also designed to achieve the highest environmental certifications featuring renewable energy solutions such as photovoltaic panels, efficient insulation, and above all, a rainwater recovery system that will reduce the building's water consumption by 50%. For the moment, no precise date has yet been revealed for the construction of 15 Penn Plaza. However, the developer has stated that he hopes to complete the site by 2030. One thing's for sure if fully realized, the Penn District Redevelopment Plan will considerably change the skyline of this part of Midtown and will especially overshadow the iconic Empire State Building as it is so close and almost as imposing as the latter. Once again, the location and dimensions of this new giant may have been inappropriate, as with the Commodore Tower, except that the design of Penn Plaza is much less sophisticated. In any case, don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. Alright, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.